<clears throat> Got it. <clears throat> Oops, knocked me out here. Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, and I think, as everyone knows, <clears throat> my name is Rick Haug, and I am the owner of the RJ Haug Insurance Agency up in Fishkill, New York. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about my own personal history, and then uh, <clears throat> and then talk about the uh, the product that I represent. So. Um, <clears throat> A long time ago, <laughs> in 1946 and 47, <clears throat> this guy here is my dad, uh, Richard Emanuel Haug, and he met this gorgeous lady over here, Marie Therese Pertel. And uh, guess what? They got married. And when they got married, this happened. <laughs> it took a while, but uh, I am the oldest of nine children in our family five girls and four boys. And um, it, uh, it makes life quite interesting and uh, lots of grandchildren. Uh, and uh, then in 1972, I met this lady. And in 1975, we got married. This is Sharon. <clears throat> and, uh, and we had four children. And this is Ricky and Sarah and Kevin and Bridget. <clears throat> Ricky is a doctor down in Philadelphia. Sarah is a uh, teacher and apparently a super mom. <laughs> and uh, Kevin is a, a, a custom carpenter and a musician. And Bridget is a bartender in Manhattan and she's doing just fine. Um, <clears throat> so I think most of you know that I was in the Navy. And uh, <clears throat> when I went in the Navy and after I got through all my training, I was assigned to this submarine, uh, the Stonewall Jackson, SSBN 634. And as it says here, this is an interesting fact. I didn't even know this, uh, <clears throat> that uh, the ship was commissioned in 1963 in November. And uh, the, her, the flag was at half staff mourning President John F. Kennedy when it was commissioned, who was assassinated just eight days before this uh, launching. Um, sad day in our country. And this is the Stonewall Jackson at sea, <clears throat> a mighty ship. Um, this is... Um, this is where the, the uh, uh, missiles are. There's 16 of them here, eight on each side. And they have uh, uh, 10 nuclear warheads on each one of them. And they can hit targets. Uh, they can be programmed to hit targets all over the world. And there were 41 of these submarines spread all over the world during the Cold War. And it's, it's a major factor that, that brought it down. We outspent the Russians and they just couldn't, couldn't hack it any longer. Uh, this is a great picture of a submarine, but you would never see this in real life. This is a, a photo op for sure. These guys are <laughs> risking their lives being up there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I was in the Navy uh, active duty for 10 years, and then I uh, got out and I went to work for the semiconductor industry. And the first company I worked for was Texas Instruments, and we made these guys. These are silicon wafers, and this is where it started. It actually started even smaller than that, three quarters of an inch. Uh, this is a two inch wafer, and it grew all the way up to, this one is, a, is an eight inch. It doubled in size from that to 16. It's like a, a large pizza uh, with thousands of semiconductor chips on each wafer. That's the way they're made. They're printed all on one, one wafer like this, and when they're all done, they get chopped up into, into squares, and packaged in various different devices. Uh, but that was a very interesting part of my life. I, I built and ran uh, semiconductor factories and, um, and met some brilliant people in that time. Uh, and then uh, I uh, went to work for uh, the solar industry and I built a factory right here in East Fishkill, New York to build these things, solar cells. And the solar cells are what are put together to build solar panels. Um, and um, so I, I did that for two years, and then the Chinese put us out of business, drove the price down so low we couldn't even pay our workers anymore. Um, and uh, I ended up getting hired by a, a solar company up in Canada called Canadian Solar. And uh, I ran their two plants up there, which is over 600 people. And we built these panels. And we had a group that uh, installed them, and we built the electronic devices that convert the DC electric that comes from these cells into AC and puts it out on the grid. So that was, a, it was an exciting time in my life. Um, uh, and then uh, <clears throat> I, um, I uh, retired for one year and um, <laughs> in 2016 and got bored 
and I uh, took an offer from an insurance company and I've been in insurance uh, ever since. So um, that's the uh, personal side of this. And then uh, the company that I represent is uh, National Life Group. And um, uh, we, uh, we sell many different life insurance products and, uh, and, and life insurance can serve many purposes. So the goals are to protect your family financially from the unexpected, grow assets for the future, such as for college educations, long-term care needs, or retirement. Also to provide cash available for emergencies. And these assets should be secure from market loss, and these products are. Um, and uh, breaking down life's financial puzzle, uh, you know, some, the dilemmas that we face. What if we die too soon? How can I take care of my family and business when I'm gone? Uh, if I become seriously ill, how will I cover the medical and living expenses? And what if my retirement assets run out? Um, so it's a solution for that too. We can plan for that. Um, so if I die too soon, there's a death benefit protection. If I live too long, there's the cash value accumulation that builds up within the uh, policy. And if you fund it properly, you can actually have a lifetime income benefit rider that provides you a pension for the rest of your life. If you become ill, there's something called accelerated uh, benefit riders that gives you a settlement on the death benefit to help pay for your medical needs. Um, life insurance is the only financial product that provides immediate tax-free cash at the death of the insured. Um, and these are the things that can happen here, terminal, chronic, critical illness, or critical injury. And if you uh, take that settlement, you um, uh, can use it for any one of these things, medical expenses, home renovations, additional care, business expenses. There's no restriction on that at all. Okay, this is a short video, and, uh, but I, it kind of drives home the point. It was July. Stowe has a balloon festival. Danny was down on his knees with a ring, and he said a few words saying how much he loves me and he wants to make this forever. And I was like, is this for real? He goes, Carmen, say yes so I can get up, please. We had a great marriage, two little girls. And we just had Zoe. Zoe was a little over a month and a half. We just bought a house. He talked about life insurance with me, and I'm just kind of like, oh, why would we need it? We're fine. And he's like, no, we, we got to be smart about it. You know, now that we have two little girls, we, we need to make sure that they're taken care of. On June 22nd, we were waiting for the doctor. And that's when he came up and just said, Mr. DeMar, we found a tumor and we went home with that. <laughs> December 15th on a Thursday. It was my, my last time with him. And through our benefit, I don't have to uproot everything that the girls know because of this tragedy, I'm able to stay in this beautiful house that we bought a year ago. I didn't have to worry about what am I gonna do and how am I gonna make it. Never would I think I'd be a widow with two little girls. Don't ever think that you're too young or it's not for you. Because I thought that. And now I have life insurance for myself and for my little girls. I wanna make sure that if anything happens to me that my little girls are gonna be okay. They definitely give me the nudge that I need to find the happiness. I don't want them to see me sad and crying all the time. I want to let them know that as tragedy hits us and we're living it moment to moment, that there's still happiness to be had. Okay, and uh, so that is that, and you got thirty I, seconds, Rick. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So the final message is: uh, Can you see this? Sure. Sorry. Is don't let life just happen without being prepared for whatever might occur. 
Uh, I'd love to do a, a face to face with any of you and talk about any of these subjects to greater depth. Uh, thank you for your attention. And, uh, it's great seeing everyone today. Great job, Rick. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody have any questions for Rick? Can I sign anybody up for the Navy? <laughs> hey, Rick, I have a question for you. You know, one of the things that a lot of people have heard about, but continues to be something that just it's not clear, is the whole idea of the whole life policy, whether that is good, whether it's just the scam that the insurance company uses so they can make money. You know, can you just address that, the universal life and, and or whole life, if, if they're the same and maybe they're different, but that concept. Well, whole life is, I mean, the, the, compared to term life, which is only for a very specific uh, period of time, <clears throat> whole life is for your whole life until the day you die. And they're, uh, they're designed to be available till you're 120 years of age. So if you get there, good luck. But uh, it pays, uh, it, it, you start saving money into that uh, account and it pays an interest rate it's a, a little bit lower than maybe a universal life policy, but it's guaranteed. Uh, and that's the, that's the deal with a, a whole life policy. It's a guaranteed return. You're going to pay one premium for the rest of your life, and it's going to grow at a specific interest rate, and, uh, and there's no risk there. Um, the universal life, and I don't want to get deep into this, but the universal life policy uh, exposes you to a little bit of market. Uh, and uh, it grows at a higher rate, uh, but it also gives you a lot more flexibility. Uh, but the, they both have the accelerated benefit rider. They both have many of the other benefits. So they're similar, uh, but uh, you have an opportunity to, to have your cash value grow a little quicker in the universal life policy. Well, Rick, great Thank you. job. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate it. Set up those face to faces with uh, with Rick to um, learn a little bit more about that whole life and universal life products that he has and uh, and the other products that he has.